Jay! Jay! How are you, buddy? Oh, oh good. Hey. Yeah, what's, well. uh, what's going on? Why are we meeting here? The world is Harry Styles' oyster right now. He has brand new music, a global tour, hit singles, and a sense of style that rivals that of any runway model. Harry's journey from a little hamlet in Cheshire to the center of the global spotlight has been nothing short of incredible. Along with advancing his musical career, his prosperity has enabled him to purchase pricey homes that reflect his impeccable taste and flair. Let's find out more about the lavish $28 million apartment owned by Harry Styles. Perhaps the nicest and most costly birthday gift ever was just purchased by Harry Styles for himself. Rumor has it that the One Direction star spent a stunning $28.5 million on a penthouse in the Battersea Power Station, one of England's hottest new constructions. The rest of his bandmates or his reported girlfriend could easily hang out there when the weather isn't conducive to their boating excursions since the penthouse faces the Thames River. The penthouse is so opulent that it has a private winter garden. Not many details are available regarding this mansion. What about the other real estate holdings owned by Harry Styles? We have good news for you if you're also dreaming of the romantic day when One Direction hunk Harry Styles proposes to you on one knee. His real estate portfolio is really remarkable. The value of his residential real estate holdings is $62.5 million, making up a sizable portion of his total net worth of $120 million. With assets spanning coasts and nations, he has acquired everything from a picture-perfect trio of residences in Hampstead Heath, a rural area of London, to contemporary mansions on the Sunset Strip in Los Angeles. For a list of this up-to-date English boy's properties, continue reading. One of his first properties was the Mansion Bachelor Pad in North London. After his band's triumph on The X Factor in 2010, 16-year-old Styles rented out a five-floor unit in North London with his new bandmates before making any real estate investments. The apartment was in Princess Park Manor, a 30-acre parkland complex built in the Italianate style in the middle of the 19th century. It was initially constructed in 1849 as a mental institution housing 2,500 patients. Before being transformed into opulent apartments in 1995, the opulent apartments in the building are well-renowned for housing aspiring musicians in the United Kingdom. Ashley Cole, Jermaine Pennant, McFly, and The Saturdays are a few more ex-tenants. A large living area with arched windows, ensuite baths, shared tennis courts, and a gym would have been shared by the burgeoning boy band. They soon moved into their apartments in the complex, experiencing firsthand what it was like to be a rock star. The other interesting property is the Erskine House, Hampstead Heath. Styles made his first real estate purchase at the tender age of 18, almost a year after One Direction released their debut album in 2012. He bought a reportedly $4.8 million stucco house in North London's pastoral, suburban Hampstead Heath, which is renowned for its breathtaking views of the London skyline. Harry most certainly slept in the private suite of the 2,300-square-foot home, which had a separate dressing area. Of course, the backyard is also well-planted. Surprisingly, the house had its own watcher house moment when Pablo Torrezaga Orero was found guilty of following the celebrity by leaving notes in his letterbox and setting up camp outside his home in 2019. Styles continues to be the owner of the gorgeous house despite the incident. With residents like Ricky Gervais, Helena Bonham Carter, and Benedict Cumberbatch, the quiet community is a hotspot for celebrities. Harry Styles also purchased two historic Hampstead Heath homes in London. 2019 saw Styles purchase a Grade 2 listed Georgian mansion for $10.9 million across a quiet street from his private white stucco home, which he still owns. The home features five bedrooms, a private driveway, and a large recreation area. He invested $5.5 million for an 18th century villa next to the second one a year later. Although there is little information available regarding these two adjacent properties, which were previously one mansion before being divided into two semi-detached mansions, many have assumed that Styles intends to build a massive mega-complex out of the three buildings. Another one of his homes is the mid-century modern home in Beverly Hills. Styles' first foray into American soil brought him to Beverly Hills, where in 2014, he paid $4 million for a mid-century modern mansion that resembled a treehouse. Alejandro Ortiz, an architect, created the exquisite 3,000-square-foot post and beam complex, which had five bedrooms, three-and-a-half bathrooms, a library, a gym, spanned walkways, outdoor decks, 
a sunken courtyard, and a 58-foot saltwater infinity pool. A detached guest cottage was also available for visitors to stay in. Styles, however, only kept the house for two years before secretly selling it for $3 million to shady purchasers Sam Gnatovich and Alexei Reynolds of Simo Design. The loss is estimated by dirt to be $825,000. The previous home was dismantled and replaced in 2019 with a larger, more contemporary structure, thanks to the couple. In 2022, the couple sold it for $15 million to a Grammy-winning musician who was also a close friend of Styles. Harry Styles also purchased a Hollywood Hills pad in Los Angeles. Styles spent $6.9 million in 2016 to purchase the ultra-modern Hollywood Hills property on a lavish gated site positioned above the famous Sunset Strip. The contemporary 4,400-square-foot estate has four bedrooms, six baths, a chef's kitchen, a penthouse master suite, and a kidney-shaped pool with a spillover spa. It is sleek, roomy, and extravagant. Were the glass walls that led to the terraces mentioned earlier? The famous Sunset Strip is only a few minutes away by car, but according to listing agent Emma Hernan, it feels like it's miles away. It is truly a work of art, offering unparalleled privacy and views. Styles added his improvements to the home, including a top-notch music system and an alabaster finish for the floors. He initially listed the home for $8.5 million, and in 2019 he sold it for $6 million. Another interesting purchase by Harry Styles was the Tribeca Penthouse in New York. Styles sold his home on Sunset Strip to buy an $8.7 million penthouse in New York City's Tribeca area in 2017, just as he began his solo career and made his debut with a performance on Saturday Night Live. The elegant Old World apartment at 443 Greenwich is housed in a recently renovated 19th century red brick structure that was once a factory utilized by toy, drug, and bookbinding manufacturers, as well as bookbinders. Today, Cetra Ruddy, an architectural and interior design firm, has converted it into an opulent home that accommodates Hollywood's elite. The building has a reputation for being notoriously paparazzi-proof, with tenants like Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Lawrence, and Justin Timberlake. It has an underground garage that enables residents to enter the building and then ascend in private elevators that opens right into their home. According to Nancy J. Ruddy, founding principal and executive director of interior design at Cetra Ruddy, 443 Greenwich is such a unique and magical building. This New York City landmark was transformed into modern urban homes because of its towering quality and raw beauty, which cannot be matched by new buildings. Styles' apartment has long wooden ceiling height beams and arched windows in an industrial design. It has three bedrooms and three and a half baths and is 3,000 square feet. All good reasons, incidentally, to write the song Ever Since New York, which was published in the same year. Styles still owns the penthouse. Another abode of Harry Styles is the Love Nest in Los Angeles. In 2021, when Styles began his acting career, he and Olivia Wilde, his longtime partner, were living in a new place for a short period. The two were said to have moved in together while filming the 1950s movie Don't Worry Darling in Los Angeles' hip Los Feliz area, paying about $10,000 per month in rent, according to Zestimate reports. According to the New York Post, Spanish singer Lourdes Hernandez and her husband Zach Lee are the owners of the recently remodeled $2.45 million property. According to California standards, the one-story house contains a pool, a hot tub, a built-in barbecue, and a covered patio. It also rests on a quarter-acre site. Inside, the house has vaulted ceilings, skylights, an open floor plan, and other typical contemporary features. Although the five-bedroom, two-bathroom house, which was completed in 1952, is shockingly modest when compared to his opulent penthouses and old English residences, it is a great example of mid-century modern architecture. The Post claims that the pair momentarily relocated to London after previously residing in Jeff Azoff, Harry's longtime manager's house in the Hollywood Hills. Are you a fan of Harry Styles? What do you think about his glamorous penthouses? Do let us know in the comments section below. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Goodbye!